What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, you guys already know the deal. We are hopping back onto the Ranked Double Ladder. With this team right here, we got a big Pikachu team right here, so I am hyped for it. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. This team right here consists of Pikachu. It's revolving around him, and Pikachu is holding that light ball, which doubles its special and physical attack, so that is going to be big. You can be able to do some big damage with him. He has Protect, Thunder, Fake Out, and Grass Knot, and Static as its ability, so if physical moves hit us, they have a chance of paralyzing. We also have this Conqueror with that Flame Lord, normal move set with him with the Protect, Drain Punch, Rock Slide, and Mock Punch for first turn priority. Got this Gyarados, Citrus Berry, everyone loves Gyarados, Intimidate. I think I'd rather have Moxie on this team, but Intimidate works just as well. It does do work. On the Citrus Berry with Protect, Dragon Dance, Waterfall, and Crunch. We got this Extra Drill over here with Mold Breaker and the Airborne. I think the only thing I would change for this team on the Extra Drill is going to be give that thing the Life Orb instead of Airborne. I feel like the Life Orb just gives it more like, it'll make it 10 times better. It just gives it something, a little more of a boost to kind of make this team a little bit better. But Airborne works just fine with the Protect, Iron Head, High Horsepower, and EQ all stab attacking moves, which is pretty nice. We have this Togekiss over here in the bottom left corner. With the weakness policy, that is actually a very good toe kiss right there with Air Slash, Heat Wave, Dazzling Gleam, and Follow Me. Has all those coverage moves, two stab moves, and that weakness policy. We can Dynamax her up and do some work. And then in the final spot, we have the Chandelure with that Focus Ash, Heat Wave, Shadow Ball, Imprison, and Trick Room. We can Imprison Trick Room to kind of prevent it from being played. But guys, you want to use this team for yourself. Front the code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know for question of the day, what are your three top Switch games? For me... It's going to be Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, and Pokemon Sword and Shield. Those are my top three. I enjoyed them so much. Actually, oh my god. We're going to have to take one off the list. I don't know. Smash Bros. is up there. How did I forget about Smash Bros.? Smash Bros. is up there. I have four. I have four. So we're going Breath of the Wild, Odyssey, Smash Bros., and Pokemon Sword and Shield. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto the ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Pikachu team. We're currently sitting at rank 7,000 on the leaderboards right now, which isn't too bad. It's not It's not too bad. It's not too great. But I really want to push rank 1,000 to top 1,000 in the next season. As I was so close this time, I was like 1,100, but then we just started losing. But we're hopping into match number one right here. This guy is a Gengar team right here, and it has a Bisharp on it. I got to watch out for that. Probably a Defiant Bisharp who we might lead, thinking that we're going to lead our Intimidate Pokemon. But I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. We might just lead that Pikachu. Pikachu could be a good lead. We can go for a G-Max Volt Crash, paralyze everything out. Could work pretty well. He doesn't really have too much to counter me on that side. He has no ground lines. Okay, but Pikachu is just like, he's a lightweight. He's going to get slapped up if he just gets hit up. But we're going to go Pikachu into Togekiss. Then in the back end, I think we bring that Gyarados. I think Gyarados could do some work. Hmm. Who am I going to bring? Chandelure can do some work as well up against that Bisharp. But I think Gyarados is a good call. And then do I just go Extra? I feel like Extra could be better than that. Let's go Extra Drill. Let's go Extra Drill here. Let's get it. Let's go, guys. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out with me. And as you guys can tell, I'm sick, dude. I am sick. In the last video, I said it a little bit, but I think I sounded a little bit better in the last video. I'm feeling better now. It's just my throat is on fire. It is killing me. It hurts so bad, and my throat is all raspy. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm just not talking well. <laughs> So hopefully by Season 3, when I'm using the new teams, everything could be alright and I can pull out some great content for you guys. Let's get it. Make a move, my dude. Make a move. I think that, that Arcanine is going to be a hard-hitting Arcanine. I don't think it's going to be like the Snarl one. I, I think it's going to be the, the, what's it called, the one with the fairy, the electric move. You guys know what I'm talking about that just hits like a truck. Who's he going to lead? I can see him maybe leading a Rotom and Togekiss. Maybe, possibly, potentially, or the Bisharp thinking I'm going to go into a uh, Gyarados, and if that thing is Defiant, which it probably is, it's got to be a Defiant Bisharp. But I have my extra on the back if we do some work with some ground moves up against him. And we're chilling, we're chilling. I believe ground's super effective to it. I'm not 100% sure though. <laughs> Arcanine and Bisharp get the lead. Okay, that's totally fine. This actually might be a Snarl one. A Snarl Arcanine. But he does lead the Bisharp, like I said. We go into the Pikachu. I could drop the electric on him. I could totally do that. The Intimidate does pop out here, but we are both special attackers. But we are chilling. The real question is, who do I Dynamax? I could Dynamax a Pikachu. Actually, or I could fake out. I'm going to Dynamax a Pikachu. Here. Hmm. Dynamax a Pikachu. And we'll go after this Bisharp. This will give him both the Paralyzers, which will honestly be huge. And then I could drop a Heat Wave and potentially take out the Bisharp with just a Heat Wave. I think the Pikachu is pretty speedy. I think the Bisharp will go before it, but then the Pikachu will go. And then slow down on Arcanine and be able to have my Togekiss take out the Bisharp. And go after that Arcanine. It's not going to do too too much to the Arcanine, but I'm just using the Heat Wave just to get it out there. And take out the Bisharp, as it will be super effective to him. 
Look at this. I love Big Pikachu. Ready? Wait for it. <laughs> Peek. Peek. <laughs> Dude, I love that sound. It cracks me up. It cracks me up whenever I'm like streaming and I burst up against them. They just throw big like peek, peek. <laughs> and when it dies, it makes a funny sound too. It is hilarious. It is hilarious. But is this the Arcanine? No, it's the Basharp. The Basharp gets to go. He gets to go. He gets the D-Max here. You don't really see a lot of D-Max Basharps. So this is pretty cool. And Shiny Basharp looks dope with that blue instead of the red. Which gives him that little difference there. But the Snarl is going to pop here. Ooh. That's a little tough. That's tough news. Snarl's gonna eat us up tonight. He's gonna eat us up. Let's go, Pikachu. Do some work here. Oh, Pikachu goes before that Bisharp. That's tight. Nice. We'll be able to paralyze these things. Slow him down. Next turn, I'll go before. So Bisharp should potentially go down next turn. Or maybe to this Heat Wave. We got the double paralyze, which is nice. And then this Heat Wave is popping out. Maybe could take out the Bisharp. We'll see. We'll see. Heat Wave. Boom. Nope. Does not take out the Bisharp. But still, big damage. Um, I'm definitely going to... Oh, Basharp's paralyzed. That is huge. That is huge. Basharp is going to go down here. I'm just going to go into another Bolt Crash onto it. And then I'm just going to drop a uh, an Air Slash. Potentially go for the flinch over on the Arcanine. We should be able to outspeed now as our speed goes down 50% in the Paralysis, which is dope. Which is dope. Pikachu comes up big. Right off the bat, we're going to be able to take out the Dynamax Pokemon. He gets no D-Max turns. That is huge. He's going to guard, just waste out our turns. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I had to put the pressure on at least. Cause I, like, I kind of saw it happening, the max guard, but I was just like, dude, if he doesn't, I gotta put the pressure on him. Let's put the pressure on him. But Air Slash comes out here. Show me the flinch. That'd be huge. Oh my lord. Let's go. Let's get it. Full crash. We'll take out the Bisharp here. And then I'm gonna just drop a, uh, another Air Slash. I'm just gonna go for another Air Slash. Look for another flinch. That'd be dope. Look at Pikachu's tail, though. Looking awesome. Let's get it. Big Pikachu coming up big so far. The Sharp's going for the second max guard. It fails out here, and we're gonna be able to take it out. Oh, yeah. Get him. Get him. Get him out of here. Gone. Gone. Get him out. But Sharp, no Dynamax turns. Not bad. But he does waste all three of ours, which is pretty good. It was pretty good for him to waste all three of our Dynamax turns. But still, we take out his Sharp. He gets no D-Max turns. And we go for another flinch. Can we get it? Oh, my Lord. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Dude, double flinch and a paralysis or paralyze. Oh, my Lord. We're running this. We are running this. Rotom comes out here. It's a wash, right? It is wash. But I can't drop a nice little thunder into it. Potentially paralyze it from there, but I don't think we are. I think he's just going to take me out because he might be able to outspeed. We'll see in a second. Thunder. Oh, no. I'm Grass on. Grass not. The heavier the target, the greater the move power is. Mm. Thunder or Grass not? Nah, Thunder will do more. It's stab. Grass not. That thing's not too heavy. And I'm just going to go for another Air Slash. In all honesty, I'm just going to go for another Air Slash on the Arcanine. Let's see. Arcanine's going to protect. That is totally fine by me. Go for it, buddy. Where's Air Slashing you? Thunder comes out. Oh, we missed it. Oh, no. We missed it. Lucky duck, dude. Lucky duck. I got to double into him. I have to double into him. That's whack. That is whack. Dang, man. We missed our Thunder. We have to double into this boy right here. We got to get after him. See, he has that nasty plot set up. I could go for the flinch or I could go for the dazzling gleam. I say I just go for the Dazzling Gleam to do more damage to that Rotom. Hopefully that Arcanine's like paralyzed this turn. So we can just like stop it. That'll be three turns in a row for him missing. <laughs> oh, dude, this Rotom could be scary. We were looking good, but then we missed that Thunder, which was tough. That's tough. And now he's nicely plotted up. He's plus two on the special attack board. Thunder pops out here. It lands. It connects. Do some big damage, buddy. Do some big damage. He just stab. That's a little bit. Should we paralyze? No, he eats his Citrus Berry. Oh, no. He's going to take out my Tokus here, I think. I think he's going to take out my Tokus and potentially go for a Snarl. e -Bolt comes out here. I do have a Mold Breaker Extra Draw on the back end, which is type nice. He just take out my Togekiss. Ooh. That is rough. That is so rough. This thing's starting to set up. Snarl comes out here. I got to bring out my, uh... I got to bring out my Extra Draw. I got to bring out my Extra Draw, potentially go for an EQ. Maybe a Double Kill here. Maybe a Double Kill, because Pikachu has Protect on it. I can Protect, go for an EQ, and I play it, play it nicely. And maybe get the double KO and kind of wrap up this match. That would be nice. Mold Breaker, baby. My extra should be the fastest on the field. It should hands down be the fastest on the field. Uh, let's just go for a Protect here. And then we'll just drop a nice little EQ on everybody. It's super effective to that Rotom and that Arcanine, which is huge. Big news. I think this could potentially KO both of them. I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe. Maybe, maybe not. But definitely that Arcanine. That Arcanine should be going. Dude, Pikachu coming up big early on. That was huge from Pikachu. And he's still here. He's still hanging out. He's usually a lightweight. He usually takes like one hit and he's gone. 
But Protect comes out from the Arcanine. What about that, uh... That Rotom. What's that Rotom doing? EQ comes out here. Protect, Protect. It's okay. I'm not worried about the Arcanine too, too much. I'm more so worried about that, uh, Rotom. If I could take it out here, that'd be huge. Let's get it. Do some damage. Yep. See you later, Rotom. He's out of here. Arcanine, I, like I said, not even worried about it. I can just go into a high horsepower. KO that thing, and it'll be game over. Is that thing slow? I know my actual outspeeds it, so I can dump on the Arcanine whenever I want. I just have to watch out for a heat wave. Conqueror pops out here. I have my boy Gyarados in the back with a flying move, I believe. I believe it has bounce, so we are just chilling fine. Thunder's going to pop here. We're going to go for the Paralyze. Then we're just going to drop a nice little high horsepower and get this Arcanine out of the way. So I can take it out, and he won't go for like a heat wave or a flamethrower. The Thunder comes out. Show me the Paralyze. Dude, Pikachu's surviving still. He's still out here. Get the Paralyze. Get it. Oh, my Lord. Pikachu, stop it. Pikachu, knock it off. High horsepower comes out here and says bye-bye to the Arcanine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this thing's paralyzed. We're chilling here. We are chilling here. Hopefully he doesn't take out my Pikachu. I want my Pikachu to survive here as long as he can. He does not hit my Pikachu. He takes out my extra drill. Which is fine. Pikachu's still chilling. We have the speed advantage. We still have our Gyarados. We are just fine. Hopefully this thing doesn't have Thunder Punch. That's the, that's the scary part. But I seriously think we're fine. He's slower than us. Pikachu's chilling. We go into our Gyarados. Oh, we do not have. I thought we had a flying move. I could D-Dance turn one. I could D-Dance. I could just go for a stab waterfall. I thought we had a bounce. Nope, guess not. It's all good. I still think we have this one in a bag. Intimidate pops. Drop that thing's physical attack by one. Is this thing life orb? Actually, or not life orb, uh, guts? Um, I could protect. I'm gonna protect here. I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna just drop a waterfall. I am going to drop a waterfall. I'm thinking I may maybe I should have D-Dance there. Considering that I think he's gonna go after my Pikachu. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Because if I would have D-Dance there, I would have been plus one on attack. I have the speed advantage regardless. Let's see what happens here. How gonna flinches? That's type nice. That is type nice. Thunder's gonna pop out here again. Nice little stab damage as well. And then I'm gonna uh I'm gonna D-Dance here. I am going to D-Dance. As this thing is minus one on attack. I think we're chilling. Hopefully this thing is like paralyzed this turn. That'd be type, type nice. He goes for a mock punch. See, like I said, that thing is such a lightweight there. It is just such a lightweight. We'll get a D-Dance off here. We'll be chilling. I think we should be chilling here. D-Dance, we go into a waterfall. All we have to do is eat up a shot. Like, if he has Thunder Punch. Because we'll be fine up against the fighting moves. We'll just be chilling with that. Let's get it. Let's get that waterfall. Pop it out here once again. I wonder what he's going to go for. Hopefully he's paralyzed soon. The waterfall, we're plus one now. I should be able to do a little bit more. Yeah, look at that big damage. Was that a crit? That wasn't even a crit. We're just... Oh, my God. He has Thunder Punch. We just had to outspeed this. <gasps> no. No way. That thing really got me. Are you kidding me? What you mean? Battle number two on its way. I cannot believe we lost that last match. Every time I say we have the match in the bag, I always lose. So I should just totally stop saying this. This guy has a Mudsail team with that Sableye. Potential Belly Jump Snorlax as well. And that Draco Fish. This is rather scary. This is rather scary. I'm kind of worried about that Mudzel. He has no Storm Drain, though. He has no Storm Drain. Do I lead the Peak? I could lead the Peak Peak. His Pikachu does some work. He does some work here. He has the Sableye. The Sableye is scary. Who could totally be a Quash, dude. But we're going to go Pikachu in the front. I think I go Togekiss once again. Oh, we got to watch out for that Snorlax. That Snorlax is scary. We're going to go Togekiss. Um, bum, 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 bum. Who else should I go? We have to no Sash. Well, our, our Chandelure is Sash. That could actually come up big in the end, so we are going to bring in the Chandelure. I was going to say, we have no Sash mod. I thought the extra would have Sash, but then I realized we have the Chandel. We have the Chandel. He has the Mudsdale, who I think he's going to bring, so we, I think we just go Gyarados from here. Gyarados can do some work if he puts on the Geyser. Yeah, let's go Gyarados. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Hopefully he doesn't go Belly Jump Snorlax. That would, that would be tough with us. If he goes, he can go Ally Switch. Do a belly jump, or, or you can quash one of us and do a belly jump, just something along those lines. Well, let's go. Battle number two. Let's see if we can get our first win for this video with this team right here. I seriously thought we had that last one, like, in the bag, dude. I seriously thought it was over with, and this dude hits him with a thunder punch with that guts and wins in the game. Toe kiss and strikes come out here, so follow me, belly jump, obviously. Um, I'm a G-Max, we'll crash this. I am going to G-Max, we'll crash this. Unless he swaps to the Mudsdale. So I'm going to go after the, the Snorlax on this side. The G Max full crash. G Max full crash. I, I want to go after Tokus, but we'll, we'll do it this way. Just in case it goes for a follow me, and then I'm gonna air slash. Or do I D Max and just start getting the speed of it? I mean, I'm, I'm actually gonna go for the burn. I'm gonna go for the burn on the Snorlax, because if we can burn that thing as it's trying to belly jump, he does withdraw that. That's totally fine by me. 
definitely gonna go into the Mudsdale. This is why I targeted the Snorlax. This is why I targeted the Snorlax here. Let's chill Good call for Jeans, dude. Good call. I knew he was swapping. I just had a feeling. I was like, dude, you'll probably swap to the Mudsdale. But there we go. We waste a turn. We're gonna paralyze both of these guys. Oh, why why would I go for the heat? I just realized that I'm gonna paralyze both these Pokemon. Why why would I go for the heat? Peek. Peek. <laughs> <laughs> Big Pikachu comes out here. But still, Heat Wave, uh, it'll do a little bit of damage here. But G-Max Full Crash comes off on the Snorlax. This guy's probably like, bruh, what do you mean? Do some nice damage. We'll actually do some nice damage to the Snorlax. He cannot belly jump if he's going for it now. Unless he eats his berry now. But if he eats his berry, we'll just outspeed and be able to dump on it. So go ahead, go for a belly jump. Go for a belly jump, my dude. I would love to see it. You don't have a follow me, so we're just going to start dumping on him. Does not go for a belly, or we don't know yet. We do not know yet, because I'm going with with my heat wave. Stamina Mudsdale comes out here. We have to start hitting on that thing. Like, it's sad. That thing's gonna start boosting his defense. Belly Jump does come out here. Um, I feel like we can just take it out from here. We just go for an air slash, be able to take it out, and then just go for a max overgrowth. Over on the Dalian of the Muds. It's paralyzed. That is huge. I don't think he's gonna Dynamax the thing. Then air slash should be able to take out this Snorlax. Ooh, wait, yo. We're sitting in a good position right here. We are sitting in a good position. I can definitely see him potentially swapping back into the Tokus for the Mudsdale. But that'd be fine by me as he's plus one on the defense board. And he is paralyzed, so that's totally chilling. That is totally chilling. We're sitting in a good spot here. We're sitting in a good spot. He still has his Dynamax. But this is the only Pokemon I'm really scared of is this Mudsdale. And he's Dynamaxing the Mudsdale. He's Dynamaxing the Mudsdale. And he's going to take out my Pikachu here. But we're going to be able to get off a shot with it. But hopefully, if he's paralyzed, that would be dope. That would be so awesome if he's paralyzed. Well, we can just roll into our Gyarados, hit him with some uh, waterfalls. We know he's slow. Hopefully, the pa the paralyze comes up soon. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Overgrowth pops out on it. Yeah, you get a Pikachu. I don't think it's gonna leave you too much though. Actually, it did a lot more than I thought. I thought it was gonna just bring him down to yellow. Let's go. We get the terrain going. And the air slash is gonna take out the Snorlax. Weird. I'm just chilling here, fine. Stamina. I'm gonna boost your defense. That's totally fine. I have a special attacker with my Tokus here. Uh-oh. Weakness policy, boy. He is plus two on attack, plus two special attack, plus two on the defense board. This thing's big. This thing is big. It really depends who he takes out here. He drops a rock on my, uh... Oh, but then he could go for a follow me. He goes for the Quake, takes out my Pikachu. And he's going to probably go into the Tokus. He's probably gonna go into the Tokus, go for a follow me, so... How should I play this one? How should I play this hmm. This thing's plus three on special defense. Or, or plus one on special defense now. So that was pretty smart for him to go into the Quake. This thing's terrifying. This thing is terrifying. I gotta see. Look, take a look at his stats in a second. Um, Shandle? Mm, no. We'll go into our Gyarados here. We'll go into our Gyarados. Try to throw a Waterfall at it. And double into it. He's probably going into the Tokus. He's gotta be going into the Tokus. If he doesn't go into the Tokus, that's a big loss on his part. Let's see. Tokus, yeah, he's gonna go for the follow me. I'm still gonna throw some moves at the at the Mudsdale to try to take it out. Intimidate. Drops his attack. That's actually pretty nice. We're gonna drop his attack to only plus one now. But he has rock. He has to have a rock ball. He's gonna dump all my mods here. Um, I could protect. Let's say I just go for a waterfall. Let's say I go for a waterfall and I just go for a slash into it. I'm gonna double into him. Follow me has to be coming out. Follow me just has to be coming out. That's gotta be a fact. Imagine if he doesn't go for follow me. What's he gonna go for? He's, yeah, follow me. We're gonna do some damage to this token. He's probably gonna take out my Gyarados here. Just tough to lose. Let's see what happens. We go, boop. Do a little bit of damage to it. Air Slash comes across. And of course we miss it. Of course we miss it. And yes, dude, the Mud Sail's paralyzed. He's gonna get some more HP back, which is scary. Of course I missed my air slash. Like, get out of my face, dude. We'll go for another one of these. And another one of these. I could go... I should maybe go for the follow me. I don't know. No, I think we're chilling. I think we're fine. I just had to start doing some damage to this toad kiss. But of course... Like, of course we missed this attack. Our air slash. Waterfall comes out here. There's a little bit of damage. Air slash. Go ahead. Can you hit this time? Can you connect? Thank you. Thank you. Air slash connects. Takes it out? No, so close. Mudsdale paralyzed again. Let's get it. Let's go. You love to see it. You love to see it. Waterfall is going to take out the. Uh, Waterfall is going to take out the Togekiss, and I am going to try to flinch on that Mudsdale. So I'm just going to double into the Mudsdale again. It's a sheer fact. 
That's a sheer fact, dude. Big plays from us. Pikachu haunting from his grave with the Paralyze. Awesome. That is awesome. That might have just won us the game, even if he just missed one of them. That's huge. That's huge. But a double. But a double, baby. Let's get it. Follow me again. Okay, so Waterfall is going to take out. And then we might get the flinch from the Air Slash. Waterfall. Yeah. Bye-bye, yeah. Tokus. Get out of my face. Follow me is such a good move. It's so good. Air Slash comes through. Maybe flinch. I don't think it's going to KO. Yeah, it does not KO. And the stamina pops as well. So we have a flinch and a paralyze chance. Yeah, let's go. Flinch, baby. Flinch. Flinch is coming up big. Our luck's on. Our luck is on right now. Well, baby, 2-1 and one, or 1-1 one and one with this team? 1-1? One one? Let's go. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm not going to say it, though. I'm not going to say that we have it in the... I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. Because we lost the last one because of it. But he's going to go into his fourth and final mod here. Which I can just say buy the mod sale. I can waterfall it. And then just start air slashing his other mod. What is he like? Why is he taking so long? Like, what is your choice here? You have one and only choice. It's not like you're like looking through like, oh, who should I pick from the Pokedex? Like, no. You have one last Pokemon left. Just pick it and take your loss, my dude. <laughs> Come on, man. Take a sip of my water. My throat, my throat, dude. Oh, and it's a Sableye in the back. It's a Sableye in the back. I'm gonna just gonna Waterfall into you, and then I'm going to Air Slash onto the Sableye. In case he goes for an ally switch, you can definitely get that Muntail out the way. Which I can see that happening, or him going for a Quashi poo. Let's see what happens. I don't think a Rock Slide is gonna take us both out. As it is not Stab. It is not Stab. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. What you want? What you want? Make a move. Oh, my lord. Make a move. <laughs> Fake out comes out. Thank you for making a move. It's actually tough. His Mudsail is going to get another shot off here. But I think we're fine. Nice damage over there. Heavy Slam's coming through. Um, Do we eat this one up? Oh, it's on my Gyarados. Of course we eat up on the Gyarados. Oh, you're going after my Toby Kiss. Okay, same thing, Waterfall over on the Dale side, and then Air Slash over on the Sableye side. Chillin', chillin'. No more grass, so Mudsdale stops getting that little HP that's been helping him out a ton. Again, Waterfall over on the Dale side, and then Air Slash coming across. Maybe I should just da dazzle and gleam that. I should just dazzle and gleam that, to be honest. But your boy's chillin', your boy's chillin'. Da -da -da -do -do. Battle was canceled. There you go. We'll take that one. One and one with this team. Let's hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record. Let's get it, guys. Third and final battle coming at you guys. If you are hanging out with me in this third battle, give me a little bit of hashtag Pikachu Squad in the comment section down below. I would love to know who hangs out and watches the videos all the way through. And this guy has a Togekiss team, potentially a uh, Whimsicott, maybe going for the speed. Oh, I think I'm just going to go Pikachu again. Like, dude, Pikachu is so nice here with the fake out. And the Togekiss lead is just so nice. It was honestly great. Yeah, let's go Pikachu into Togi Toad. So I can fake out Whimsicott and just take out the Tailwind right then and there. Who do I go from here? We don't have rocks on our, uh, or rock move on our extra drill. I feel like Gyarados only does good against our Arcanine. But extra drill can, I feel like extra drill is actually going to come in here. Extra drill can do some work on that Arcanine and that Togekiss Whimsicott as well. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. And that extra drill. His own extra drill. Anyway. And then Chandelure in the back. Final spot. Chandelure or Conqueror? It's Chandel or Conqueror. I think Chandelure is going to take the cake here with that Shadow Ball. And that Focus Ash will come up big. He wave. <gasps> I ran out of time. No! I ran out of time. Are you kidding me? I was legit about to pick my last Pokemon. I never look at the time. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, dude. Man, that's whack. That is whack. Well, let's see who he gave us. It should at least give us a three Pokemon that we pick. Let's see. Let's cut into Kiss. Yeah, this could be big. This could be big if we get our two Pokemon. Pikachu and Kongro. Oh, I wanted my Togi. What am I, Togi? Let's see. Let's see who we have. Man. Ah, oh, dude, I didn't want to bring the Gyarados either. Ah, okay. Let's see how this works out here. Um, he's got to be going for a. Uh... We got to be going for this. We got to be going for a Volt Crash here. And potentially roll into a uh, I protect. I feel like I swap here. I feel like I swap into the Gyarados. 
Just because the airstream might be coming over to my Conconor. And he might be going for the speed boost. Let's see. Is he going into the X drill? That could be scary. He swaps to the X drill here. Intimidate comes out here. Let's see. Are you swapping into your X drill? Be a free swap for him. Let's see what happens here. He does not swap with his X drill. That is huge for us. That is honestly huge. I think he's going to go Tailwind, D Max, and the Togekiss. And try to take out my Pikachu. Or he was going to go for an Airstream on my Conqueror. Hey, get him, boy. Get him. It's just so good. That double paralyze is huge. Like, especially as they're two lead Pokemons. It's just, it's just tight nice. It's just tight nice. If we can take out this Pokemon, we can get the paralyze on the third. I just got protects. That's fine. I believe the paralyze still goes through to protect. I believe it does. Let's go. G Max Ult Crash coming in hot. We're going to take this thing out. Maybe. Yep. See you later, Toad Kiss. We'll get the paralyze on the one Scott as well. As well. That is huge. I actually figured that out when I was streaming up that the paralyze goes through. It goes through, which is dope. Gets her to protect. It's cool when you're using it, but like when he it's up against you, you're like, come on, man, get out of my face. Um, I think he's gonna D Max this uh this guy. I'm gonna paralyze it as well. I'm gonna drop a Volt Crash over on the Winsicott, do a little damage, take off the Sash, and then go into my uh my what's it called my Waterfall over on it. But I think he's gonna D Max go for a Max Quake. Winsicott is paralyzed. Can I set up the Tailwind? Let's type nice, and then we go before we can paralyze this Excadrill and maybe take it out. And then maybe take it out. Let's go, dude. Pikachu is so fast. Pikachu is honestly a fast little boy. We get the paralyze on the extra drill. That is huge. That is huge. The waterfall might be able to do, take him out. Big damage. Take him out. Let's go. We take him out. Let's get it. So basically, this Whimsicott's gone. Basically, this Whimsicott's gone. The Toe Kiss is gone. The extra drill is gone. It is basically just us against this Dragon Ball. Which I'm going to paralyze. I'm going to paralyze him. He's got to be D maxing. That is huge. We gotta paralyze him. <laughs> Look, just go for a crunch. Just go for a crunch, dude. Pikachu, OP, babe. He canceled the battle. That was the quickest battle ever. Let's get it, guys. Two and one with this team. Lost that first one, but came back strong and won two in a row. Let's get it, guys. We absolutely dominated that last battle. That was probably one of the quickest matches I have ever played. That Pikachu was so strong, and I love that double paralyze. That big G-Max Volt Crash is awesome. It is such a good G-Max move. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.